Hey guys, as you know, some things drive me absolutely bonkers. And this thing of, um, you know, not being able to back up in first gear is one of those. So what I wanted to do is figure out what's going on. So what I did is I pulled my motor and I've torn it all apart so I can figure this out. No, nah, not really. It's sitting over there. It's fine. Spare motor. Anyway, um, you can see, well, I'll show you. Right now, we are in neutral, okay? So if I hold the output shaft, okay, which is, you know, where the chain's connected, spin the input shaft, there we are, we're in neutral, okay? Um, which is where we would start the bike. So what I wanted to do, oh, look at the a piece of wood. No, there's no way. Um, all I've done is I've clamped this side down, you know, and this washer here, I've clamped the spring into the case as it would be under normal assembly. And of course, the bolt is where it should be, you know. Um, the stop lug is set properly. So this is just the way it is in the bike, okay. This particular gear here is not part of the shaft, but it's splined to the shaft and it does not move side to side, okay? Um, other than the shimming, which is a different issue, we won't get into that. This gear is, I believe, and I'd have to take the shaft apart to prove it, but I believe this is machined, these teeth are machined on this gear, on the shaft, excuse me. So all we're doing is when we start this thing, we're bringing this gear over, we're engaging this one, we're turning this one, which turns the clutch basket, and it turns the crankshaft and starts our engine. So what I wanna do is show you the normal sequence of events that happens when we kickstart our engine. So here it goes. I got my kickstarter on here. Nice one. I didn't have it chromed yet, but there you go. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna start kickstarting the engine. Now of course you know the bike's in neutral, which it has to be or we roll down the driveway or whatever we do if it's not. So anyway um, we're gonna start the kickstart. So we Start moving the lever. You can see it's bringing the gear over. It's starting to turn the transmission, which turns the clutch back. Whoops! Turns the clutch basket, which turns the crank. Now we get down to a certain point, and hopefully before that point, the bike starts. Okay, so here's what happens. Now watch in this area real close. The the, the engine starts. Okay. You see what it's doing? It's pushing the gear back out of the way. Now, let me see if this, yeah, see it? You can see the gear actually wobbling back and forth because the teeth are hitting it because it hasn't pushed it completely off. Now, maybe when this thing starts and with the, the velocity that it starts with, you know, the RPM, that it knocks it all the way, you know, all the way over. I don't know, okay? Um, but the next thing we do is we let go, okay? Which brings the gear back against here. Now, if you notice, I don't know if you see this on camera now, but there's about a sixteenth of an inch of a gap here in between this gear and that gear. So, you now your next question, if you know, is how in the world when we go backwards is this gear picking up this gear to catch everything and, and make it lock up okay so here's what I believe is happening we, we start the engine okay as I, we looked at in the last section of the video and we let the Kickstarter come back and right now that gear is pretty rigid you can feel that okay you can see it I can feel it hey <laughs> but anyway it's not wobbly or nothing so, you know, how in the world can we engage? You probably see that gap there, too. Well, I believe what's happening is when these things are running, they have a wee tiny little bit of vibration. Yeah, okay, anyway. 
and I believe it's the vibration causing the issue. Um, probably if we fired up the bike and put it first gear or whatever gear, it doesn't matter, and tried to go backwards, it probably wouldn't do it until we rode a little bit. And this is why. I think what's going on is this. This gear, start there it goes, starts to vibrate and come, basically come loose. And we would never know. Do you see it push it back? And it doesn't make any noise. So I believe it's, it has to be sitting right there the whole time waiting for us to go backwards. Okay. Now, if we, and let's see. Just there, it just picked it up. There it is. Bang. When we roll forward again, it just shoves it off. But not clear back on its perch all the way back. Now, if we kick it again, it will. Now we're rigid again. Okay. Well, no, there it doesn't take much. A little bit of vibration from the motor, engine, and there you go, and it picks up. So I'm not sure what to do about it, uh, if there's an easy fix, quick fix, or if we're even worried about it, but at least now you can see what the cause is. Okay, thanks. The reason for my concern about all this is I didn't know you know even four years into these things that these things did this it just wasn't common knowledge i guess um, i found out by accident uh, somebody posted in that thread that i started that somebody at the gap or whatever did it and that was the end of that or some kind of statement i don't remember what it was anyhow point being i believe what happened to that individual was he was probably moving back with a little bit of weight and velocity and what will happen is we're hitting this stop bolt with the stop lug on the, on the kickstart shaft and it wouldn't surprise me a bit if you busted out this whole section of his case. So that, that's my, my concern with the whole thing is I don't want anybody busting their case up because uh, that would really stink. So, okay, thanks.